Welcome back to Haslip Cycle Works. I'm Robert, and we're actually going on another field trip today. We're gonna go hit up the Hampton Roads Auto Show and check that out. So follow along, go check it out. Hopefully there'll be some bikes there. If not, we'll see some really cool cars. Now, I will tell you that this trip is kind of a long one for me. Uh, I'm in Smithfield. The Hampton Roads Auto Show for 2019 is in Virginia Beach. It's almost about an hour's drive. Fortunately, um, I don't have to drive. So uh, my buddy Jake from Vaughn Design Co, he's actually gonna be driving. Uh, I don't know if we'll get him on video. We'll see if he's down for it. Uh, if not, uh, we still got a free ride. Shout out to Mark Bowles at First Team Honda in Suffolk. Uh, he hooked us up with the tickets for the Hampton Roads Auto Show. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. Um, and if you guys are local and are in the Suffolk area or Chesapeake area, um, Mark Bowles works at First Team Honda. And uh, if you need sales, help, uh, help leasing a vehicle or service or anything, uh, hit Mark Bowles. Uh, I'll put all his contact information down in the description and again thanks mark appreciate it and hopefully we'll see you there so follow along guys and uh, we're gonna take a short little road trip and check out what the hampton roads auto show 2019 has to offer
few hours later and we're back to the shop hampton roads international auto show 2019 was pretty sweet can't thank mark bowles at first team honda enough for the tickets and a big thanks to jake vaughn from vaughn design co for doing all the driving um, we had a good time uh, fortunately too many people uh, walking around too many conversations too much background music to do any sort of video so hopefully you guys are cool with the stills that i got there were some pretty sweet rides there unfortunately very little as far as custom goes everything was the new 2018 and 2019 lineups nothing over the top i kind of expected to see something uh, from dodge like maybe one of the demons or at least a hellcat um, didn't see inside the, the hall itself is where all the new cars were there was some pretty cool custom stuff outside as you first walked in um, before they took your ticket and let you in Soundwave Customs from Virginia Beach was there there were some really sweet off-road rigs there there was uh, a few technical schools and a few of the colleges that have technical classes were there uh, giving a couple demos and stuff and showing what you know they offered that was pretty cool. Like I said, Soundwave Customs was there. Talked to one of the guys from there. I, I'm sorry, man. I can't remember your name. Um, but I will definitely put a link to his stuff down in the description. If you want any custom audio stuff done, uh, whether it's just keyless entry or full-on systems, they do it on a quote basis, which is pretty cool. The installs and the vehicles that they had there were super clean. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are into that, but yeah, car audio these guys were on point uh all focal stuff in one of the demo vehicles it was really clean eastern off-road was there they had a couple uh, jeeps some trucks and stuff that were lifted but like i said there wasn't really anything um over the top at the show i really was expecting a little bit cooler stuff i guess would be to say they they had a few porsches um maserati was there uh alfa romeo was there uh, of course, uh, Chevrolet was there. They had their Corvette um, Grand Sport and a Camaro SS. And uh, if you're looking to go check out some new cars, like you've seen one on the road, or maybe you're interested in purchasing one and you just want to sit in it without the pressure of the sales, the Hampton Roads International Auto Show is the way to do it. Um, they've got stickers on all the cars. There are salespeople there from local dealerships i believe so if you're interested in, in a vehicle then uh yeah it's definitely the pressure free way to do it i don't know about you guys but have you noticed the prices on these new especially the trucks it's ridiculous uh they had they did have the the new ford ranger there and they had a chevy colorado but for what they were asking for those you could go across the hall and check out one of the full-size trucks with comparable equipment and they were about the same price I, I, don't, I don't understand um, some of the new cars too man they were wow the the prices on them were astronomical I, I don't understand where, where they get the numbers from and uh, if you've checked out the used market for full-size trucks that's that's just as bad I, I don't know what the deal is um but anyway i'm going off on a tangent so yeah if you get a chance to check out the hampton roads international auto show definitely do it uh it's a good time and uh yeah that, i think that's gonna do it hopefully this was a cool little video for you guys a little something different from us um non-bike related even though we did sneak a few photos of some bikes in there for you but until next time guys get up get out there and do it